Internet Connection Air, the video game. I don't know what it is about modern game releases that everybody releases in a very poor state, as if nobody is testing it at all. Yet, the latest in this long saga of disaster releases like Anthem, like Fallout 76, like Cyberpunk, nobody learns from the last one. Nobody. This game is constant. The servers are constantly crashed. Server woes are ridiculous. Motherfucker! And is it Square Enix's fault not spinning enough servers, spinning up enough servers for them? Is it Can People Fly's fault with a bunch of bugs and communication and handshake errors? <sighs> Uh, there are some handshake errors. I'm getting constant crashes. I'm getting constant server kicks. In the middle where we're about to beat a boss, server kick. Choose this weakest one. What the fuck? He's got full fucking health again. Yeah, one of them's healing him. This really kills the experience. Uh, when we are trying to experience the game in fucking launch week, it has been brutal. It's been awful, right? And that's and that's just the server crashes. Then there's the memory crashes. So let's look at this one. It wasn't me! Then there is the no HUD, where I have no fucking idea what's happening, or, or and no information is conveyed to me. Oh my god. Is it just me? Am, am I the only one on PC, or is everyone on PC getting this? You just crashed again? 83rd crash? I, I don't even know how to edit together this review. You, the review is simply going to be my review crashing over and over, maybe. I guess, I mean... And then, in between the crashing and the no HUD, does anybody get no HUD, or is it just me? I feel like I'm the only one that gets the no HUD. Godzilla is approaching the generator. The generator is losing power. Godzilla is approaching the generator. The generator is losing power. Godzilla is approaching the generator. The generator is losing power. And all of these bugs, and, and Joe is crashing way constantly more. I mean, that's Joe, but still, he's crashing way more. A friend of ours, a fourth player that we would play, Zero has had, he's counted them all. It's like 80 crashes. It's ridiculous. This is beyond acceptable at this point in gaming. Gun as my no, main weapon no, 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 no. Stop making excuses for people who delayed a game for nine months to put it out in this state. Stop. This is why games continue to come out in this state, because people like you are making excuses for people like them. It is not appropriate. This is not how video games should have to work. There are literally companies you can hire to stress test your servers for you to make sure this shit doesn't happen. And they chose not to do that so they don't get credit for working on the weekend because they didn't do their fucking job for the last nine months. That is not how this works. Games come out unfinished because you people keep apologizing for them. Go, oh, no, it's fine. No, this big plate of spaghetti's got shit all over it. But it's fine. The spaghetti underneath still good. No, stop it. That is not how this works. You as a consumer, you paid your money, you deserve better. Have some more fucking self-respect. Amen. <laughs> okay, I don't care how nice the devs are. Look, we visited this game a year ago. We personally met the devs. These guys are, are, are freaking badass. They love the Angry Joe show. A few of them are fans. Probably not after this video, but uh, just amazing, great Polish developers. But whatever the case is, I thought all this extra time, because it was delayed, I thought this all this extra time would end up 
put being put into the game and and we would get a more polished release but no i saw some of the same bugs that i saw when i was there and i'm seeing even worse bugs now now whether that's people can fly, fly or square enix it doesn't matter to the consumer the consumer it has no responsibility in this and we are advocates for the consumer we are advocates for your game working correctly out of the door your game being th uh, uh, thoroughly tested and being ready for consumption and it's not ready for consumption so those of you who are wondering what my opinion is on the outriders it is a disaster of a launch it is extremely frustrating and if you could get past all of the server disconnects all of the crashes all of the memory leaks th and get to the actual meat of the gameplay then you have to go through very awkward cutscenes extremely fucking awkward dialogue where they're fucking say fuck every fucking word it's fucking cringy as hell uh pointless cutscenes where i mean you they fade to black to jump across a bridge and then you have another fade to black and then you fade to black and then you fade to black and then and and then you've got this this extremely uh, high bullet sponge gameplay, even worse than the division in the bullet sponge area. Makes a little more sense because it's sci-fi and not just some random dude on the side of the street that you're shooting in New York. At least it makes a little more sense here, right? But it, I don't know if our world tier progress is going too fast or it is. De it's definitely trips. When you play in trips, the game is balanced completely different. You'll tear through content in duos. You'll 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 be able to have good progression in solos, except for those snipers but in do in trips it is a miserable experience if you don't manually fuck around with your world tier And it's just the, the awful map. So I am basically going on a fucking angry rant with all of the problems that are in this game right now. It's not ready for release with all these extra years. I just hope that somebody can do their fucking job and get the game fixed. And, and somebody can tell Square Enix, spool up more servers. People are enjoying the game when they can get to the game. When they can get to the meat of the game, there's a percentage of people that are really enjoying it. And there's a percentage of people that play the game with one hand and they realize that it's like the same gameplay loop over and over, uh, you know, because you heal, you're, you're encouraged to just stand out in the open and shoot because the more you shoot, the more you heal. It's I, there, There's no healing. You just heal to kill. And so, you know, it's like there's no point in taking the Gears of War cover. It, it just, okay. All right. I ran out of steam because this game has broken me down uh, over, you know, over the weekend, over its launch. And um, it's, it's a damn shame. Um, you know, there are good elements of the game. Uh, I, I love the different locations. I love the variety of enemies. Those are two things. And I love the loot uh, and how you can customize the loot. These are good aspects of the game that are hopefully eventually going to save it. In fact, there are some impressive bosses, right? Uh, spider boss. But well, what other game? Was there an impressive spider boss towards the beginning and then, and then we didn't see shit afterwards? So hopefully, as we go along, our progress is so slow. It's taking us so long to get through the game and because of all these crashes and all these server issues and all these server kicks and then redoing shit over and over, then, then enabling my HUD, disabling my HUD, and enabling the HUD to it, kick the HUD on, to kick the HUD in its ass. It's going to take a little while for the review, guys. I was hoping to just go hard over the weekend and be ready right now. I'm nowhere near ready. So, uh, you know, just stay tuned. This is my angry rant. This is my experience with Outriders at launch. It has been miserable, okay? Miserable. All of us are freezing the enemies. They got no chance. Now I'm freezing and toxic. I crashed. Yep. We're doing to it. Okay, I'm I'm done. I can't fucking. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done too. I gotta. I'm done. This we're fucking done. This this uh, lag is just killing me. Wonder why it's lagging.
Now I'm getting the same shit you were getting, Joe. With all the, the, except, the exception access violation. And it's a damn, like I said, it's a fucking shame. Because I think I like the game more than the division. At least the universe. I love sci-fi stuff. I love the variety of locations and all this other stuff. It's just, it's got a lot of issues. It's uneven. I would say if you can get it on Game Pass for 5 bucks a month and not pay $60, do that. Because I paid $60 and I'm fucking pissed. There's no Game Pass on PC. It's only on console. I don't know why that is. That's like the first instance that I know of that. But I'm fucking pissed because of it. Because I feel like I've wasted my money and I'm doing beta testing for them. That's it. That's my angry rant. I, I'll, I'll have the review out when we can get through it, when the servers stabilize and we can get through all of the content. And, uh, yeah, just awful. And I wish games would stop releasing in this state. Take a little more time, all right? I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye.